Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sprite on Scratch so you can customize your programs a little bit more. Hey guys, so I'm just on the Scratch website and today is going to be a pretty easy one. I'm just going to show you how to make your own custom sprite. So here I am on Scratch. I'm going to go ahead and click the create button in the upper left hand corner. And to make your own sprite, um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the scratch cat and I'm going to go down to that button you normally press to add a sprite down in the right and then I'm going to move upward and you'll see that there's um, the magnifying glass to choose a sprite, the paintbrush to paint. Um, you can click this button for a surprise sprite so like if I click it it'll just give me a random one. I got a dinosaur shirt. <laughs> um, and then you can upload a sprite. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a sprite, so I just clicked that paint button and it took me here. So I'm just going to be making a little snail that's not that important. Um, so here you can change all of your colors. I think I want her shell to be light pink, so you can change the shade of your color, you can change the saturation of your color which is um, how concentrated it is. And then you can also change the brightness all the way down is black. And then all the way up is just the lightest version of that color. If you want white, you have to turn the saturation all the way down. Um, that's how you'll get white. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a light pink I like. And then you can also mess around with the outline. Um, this makes it transparent so there's no outline. Same with the fill, if you click this button you'll get um, a transparent color. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. For the outline, this is also like a font size. So like since I hit transparent, it's gonna be a zero point outline, but if I click up, then it's not gonna be the transparent symbol anymore and it will just get bigger or smaller, depending on the number I type in right there. And so I'm gonna have no outline and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button to give me a circle because I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a little snail. So I'm just going to get my circle right there. You can drag it wherever you want. So this is costume one, but you can make multiple costumes too if you want to animate a sprite. That's how you do it. But um yeah, so that's going to be my shell, so then this button will allow you to draw a line. Okay, so I'm just going to pick the color that I want for the snail's body. I'm going to make it yellow. Actually, I think blue. I'll go for nice blue-green. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw the snail's body right now, dragging my mouse to do this part. So I'm gonna just go ahead and draw it how I want. You can draw whatever you want for your sprite, by the way, it doesn't matter what you do. This is just more to show you what buttons to push. There we go. I'm gonna fill that in. You can always click this bucket button too and just fill it in like that. So, now that I have this all filled, I'm going to go ahead and outline, so I think I'm just going to go for a much darker green color. And what I'm going to do is click the little paintbrush again, choose the thickness I want, and I'm just going to go ahead and outline. All right, so there you go. You can always go ahead and just run the eraser along the side if you made some mistakes like I did. And so there's my little snail sprite. So then I can just go ahead in the code. I could make it, I could make her smaller if I wanted, go 50% on the size. She gets smaller. If I want her to, I don't know, crawl around, I can go ahead and drag the start button out and then the motion I could say glide one second to rant oh actually glide one second to there 
get rid of that. Drag one sec into there. Put her over here. And then there we go. So there's your how to make a sprite. Um, hope this helped you customize your projects more. Um, later on, I can show you how to upload your own background or upload your sprite. Um, but that's all for today. Thanks for watching.